Brax. Run. Run for the hills, or you want to fight this? They're TPing. How many? Three. Going up here. Okay, the ice blast, the fourth hill. It's actually flying out, so take a look. See, you see the hill? The hills you can drive. Tiki still caught with a triple ulti, though. The ice blast trailed it. Curse and wall. Aggressive. Jumped on. Got a vacuum. They can actually bring aggressive back. He's trying to TP. To the dogs here. It's not happening. Surge up on the Brax. He runs himself forward, and that's it. Aggressive dead down and out. The rest of CDC will retreat themselves, but you're two, you're one and two all heroes. Uh, a risk, I would say. Take a look at one four three seven. His positioning is oh, it was perfect. He gets scattered out here. They know he's there. No more four. The DK. The Gordy runs in the middle of the rest of the team. A able to go the off, and it flies way north. And with a tombstone down, looks like C9 want to try and clear up that tombstone before they continue the fight proper. They will be able to do that. SVG. Thanks for a bunch of new space. G jumps over the top as well. Kills off the Winter Wyvern, but Brax is chasing Garda down on the side. Will kill off the Tusk. And this is a 2 for 2 trade so far. Aggressive. He's just really joining the team fight now. With the chains down, Brax still got the agents. He can run himself through this. Trapped to slow XZ, but the illusions, they're stopping the, uh, stopping the advance. Can't really slow down this Temple of Assassin. Meanwhile, over to the side, the Battle Fury cleave Shiki. Low armor dead. The Dragon Eye gonna drop an aggressive. I don't know if they can chase him. I don't know if they can actually catch it. Oh no. There we go. Slight fist finishes him, but aggressive gets away. C9 can. Rax will kill him. Definitely. You see them. And now they jump forward. Like, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh god, Ritsu? The Lincolns have popped. They didn't know he had it. And they jump. Ice Blast. That's gonna land up a couple of heroes. Good, good. Cut there. And God is trapped in with Cheeky. He sort of came back with his BKD up and aggressive. He's running back and forth. He can't choose a target. He doesn't know who to go on. God is now battling into Brax. And the Looks like he might take down the TA slowly but surely, burning through the mana and the refraction. But over on the side, Ritsu, SVG, who have you found? Bearing through some illusions and now looking for the Undying. That should be a simple takedown. Two for one so far. And oh, aggressive come back in here. Trying to get into F1437. Looks like he's got the burn, he's got the burn, and he's got the damage out. But he's gonna become good enough. Ritsu turns, the Flame Guard will finish him off, and Battleman is down. In blink, SVG, Q. Night, sweet prince. One hero remaining once again for CDEC, but this time it's not the Phantom Lancer. They jump up too heavily. You know, they, they've been doing well with that. They've got snowballs, they've got mech gangers and things to jump off the ground. But you know what? Aggressive is dying in a 1v1 against Ritsu's Ember Spirit. This is, a, <laughs> this is not what's meant to happen. Ritsu's just cruising through, and now he remnants away. Ice Blast. Oh, oh. Agonim's, Agonim's oh. Ice Blast. Is that level 2? That's level 2. He's not going to die to this, though. Fine. Yeah, he might just live because he can spam the... I think he might die. It's going to be very close. God. He's dead, Shit. isn't he? Oh, no! Yeah. I thought he had one more doppelganger in him. But apparently not, and down at bottom lane, Q! Oh, it's burn! Gonna go down, and guess what? In from side, Brax! Oh, you're not going to find him, are you? He was gone, it's vacuum back from MSN. So sad that peel death also, because he kind of like... Ran back and forth, and at the last second, right before the ice boss is gonna head, stumbled into the AoE of it. Um, by the way, Emesis has not died this game, and he's thus holding the gem that they stole from Q, and that's another kill. And all of a sudden, this game feels like it's extremely close to being over. I mean, there's a rush available, which Brax could freely go take if he wanted, but it looks like they're not gonna waste time with that, and they're just gonna go get some Raxes. 24 to 10, 40 minutes in, and yeah, they don't care. They're about the big man in his basement, the Rosh Manon. They want the tier 3, they don't want the racks and live available. They can freely have it. I decided to like accept this faith there, makes me think that they're like busy discussing what to do next game. They'll like have one last stand here, but don't even fully expect to be able to win it themselves. So as well, holding on. As much as they can. They're going to go in for this fight just yet. They're waiting for Phantom Lancer, waiting for a situation where maybe you can, yeah, fly back and beat the end. But look at that, Kane with the Ice Blast. The lead is dead already. Cheeky PKBs. And the wall is dropped down, but where the hell is Garda? I hear a punch. Over back, Kane yeah, punches someone up, but back towards middle lane. There's a stun. Over on Ritsu, he's dropping low on the old HP. Okay, oh, he ran this back. 420 HP and he gets away. Not gonna lose their axe just yet, but it's, it's inevitable. At this point, aggressive, no double gang remaining. They know which one it is as well. MSS will chase him with the Witch's Curse, they'll secure it. No buyback yet for a minute and a half. Cheeky, his flash, it's meaningless. Brax is finishing off in a couple of clicks, and that's it. GG score. CDEC, half out against Cloud9.
Yeah, it's Cloud9 looking fresh, looking sharp, looking like they know what they want to do. TDC looking honestly a bit predictable. I think that 1437 preparing for this match could have just